Hi everyone, this is Ida with Created to Create. I have a project share this morning. And I wasn't going to share it, but I changed my mind because uh, this is something that I really like. And although it's it's a long ways till Christmas, you guys, but this is a Christmas project that I'm working on. And I wanted to share um, like a, te a technique that Abby's been using with her sublimation that uh, I incorporated into these uh, burlap sacks. But this could be done on anything, on, on a canvas, on cotton, on a cotton sack, on t-shirts, just on anything. But I decided to, to do it on these sacks. So I'm going to go ahead and share those with you. Uh, let me remove these. Look at the beautiful sacks, you guys. How pretty are they? Um, she used this, um, it's called Glitter Flakes, and it's a, te a sublimation technique. And I hope that you can see it, the sparkle. Like, it's extreme sparkle. And this doesn't come off. Like, I can rub it, and I won't have any glitter on my fingers at all. And uh, these are some images that we purchased on the Etsy. Look at the beautiful, I, I can see it right there, so I guess you guys can too. But look at this beautiful sparkle. This is some images that I purchased on, um, on Etsy. So a lot of times, you know, it, it really is best to just purchase the image because when you go to uh, create something with it, if it's not a digital image that you bought, the quality of the image won't be good. So it's actually a very good idea that if you're going to use an image, go ahead and purchase it from the seller because then you're going to get a good quality image. Um, so anyway, the, this is one of the ones that I chose. And what I decided to do on this, I decided to crochet a shell border at the bottom. And I do know how to crochet, guys, but I don't like to do it. So I just did a simple uh, shell border at the bottom. And then I added some eyelash trim that I had in, a, it's a pink and gold. So that's what I did there. And, um, and then, of course, Abby printed out the, the image for me and added the glitter flake to it. And uh, actually, uh, I'm not sure if this works with an iron, you guys, because we have a, a commercial heat press. So that's what we use for this. Uh, to adhere it onto, because this is like something that has to be applied with heat. And like I said, I'm not sure if, if it works with an iron, but of course you have to have a sublimation printer and all that. So it's, you know, it's it's a process and, you know, takes up quite a bit of equipment. But because Abby, between Abby and I both own equipment, so uh, she was able to do this for me. And I absolutely love it and then of course i added some lace trim around here i believe this trim was gifted to me by my friend carolyn although i have received some in swaps so i just kind of had everything mixed up so i don't know who gifted what but it's all in there this is a flower that i want to say crafty was a crafty teacher who uh gifted this during one of the swaps uh it might have been the uh not so secret santa swap or a um, or the or the tag and pocket uh, swap. I'm not for sure, but she. I think she's the one who created this one. And I was kind of saving it for something special. You know, I don't really like to put these beautiful handmade flowers on like a card or anything like that. And finally, I found something that I could use it in. You know, where it would um, really make a big statement. And then these flowers right here were gifted to me by my friend Sonia. Thank you, Sonia. And um, she gave me a whole bag of these. And, and this is just one piece of one that I, it has like three different roses and uh, pearl sprays. And I just kind of cut a piece off. So that's what that is. And then this was in one of the embellishment boxes from the, from the embellishment box, Christmas embellishment box swap that I hosted. But look at how beautiful that is. Can you see the twinkle? And then, of course, here's some more of those appliques. This came out of an embellishment box as well. And then I added some trim here that, again, was gifted. And then uh, some more eyelash trim. This eyelash trim I bought on Amazon, and it's by Martha Stewart, and it does have the metallic gold going through uh, with the pink. 
So there's the front, and I didn't do anything to the back because I really wanted to spotlight the front of the bag. And I left the original cording on this one because I kind of like that burlap type of bag. So that's bag number one, and here's bag number two, and look at this beautiful bag. Look at this beautiful flower. I, I received two of these here recently. It was either in the tea, tea swap or from Miss Emma Mangifico, who just sent me a stocking. It's either or. Anyway, the crochet that I did on this one, I did it differently, where you could be able to see the shell border a little bit more. And like I said, I guess guys, I do crochet, but I do not really enjoy it. There's the eyelash trim again. And then this uh, little design also is a digital design. And I hope that you can see the sparkle that I see. Let me just kind of move it around slowly so you can see the twinkle. It's super pretty. It is very, very pretty. And um, I added some uh, trim again that was gifted. And uh, this is uh, a vintage trim that I've had for a long time. And I still had a little piece left. And um, do you see, you hear my daughters fighting? And then here is the bow, a one of the bows from the... Um, embellishment boxes and then these are those uh, pearls from Michaels look at how beautiful again here's a piece of that rose spray from my friend Sonia and then here is some trim this trim was gifted to me by uh, Mig who is Mig Sal here on YouTube and then I added again the eyelash trim so I think it came out very very pretty let me move the light a little bit closer because I want the light to catch the twinkle and um, maybe if if I add a little bit more light closer you'll be able to to see the twinkle that's in here but it is stunning just absolutely stunning like I said I don't know if you see what I'm seeing but it is pretty so there is bag number two and then here is bag number three um, this image is also available on Etsy and this one, I actually just took a picture of a card and went ahead and put it on here. Uh, but I am going to buy the image because I can tell that the quality of the image is not as nice as when you buy the digital image and you just download it into your software. So I am going to buy this image as well. And again, here is the shell, shell border I did on this one. On all of them, I did the pink and gold eyelash trim. Uh, this came on something that I bought at the thrift store, um, had a bunch of bows on it. I think those little vintage doves. So I added that there, and here's a little bottle brush, a pink one that came in the embellish one of the embellishment boxes. Uh, some foam, foam flowers that I was gifted here recently in the, um, the tea swap. Here's another one of those pink pearls. So I only cut up one spray. And here is a snowflake that I have a pick of. And right here, guys, this is one of those foam pieces that I've been making uh, with that soft clay. Again, I trimmed this with the eyelash trim. I added those pearls in the corner. Not in this corner because it was going to be covered up. And on this one, I traded out the cord and added this braided or twisted rope cord on this one. So you can see it right there. There's the trim and again the eyelash trim, but I think they came out so pretty. And then I'm going to share with you a couple of more images that I have. Look at how pretty those are. So I bought some more images, but I haven't finished them. But here is one of the other ones that I bought. And again, you can see the sparkle in it. How beautiful. And they are super pretty. I know a lot of people don't do the Santas. For me, it's like something that I grew up with. Although I know my blessings come from the Lord, I still uh, like this. Just the image itself. And then he, look at this one. This one is very, very pretty. Again, you can see the sparkle in it. Or I hope that you can. I'm trying to hold it at an angle where you can see the sparkle really, really well. Look at how pretty that is. And once again, I when I crochet the bottom, I'll go ahead and crochet. Like, I could add lace to the bottom, 
but because the holes on this bag are pretty it's an open weave type you could uh, crochet real easily on these bags so that's why I decided to do that um, and like I said the images are very very pretty and this is a great uh, way to house you know because I'm always behind on my happy mail I am always behind I can never catch up so I thought this would be a great idea because these pouches are about a 6 by 10 so they're not real small they're a good size I can fill them up with something and send them off as happy mail you know I'm never gonna you know I kinda have to keep my happy mail uh, limited so I can reciprocate to many people and um, but this will be a great way with the where the sack is not too little it's not too big and I'll be able to add a you know a nice amount of happy mail but I can still you know get it done fast enough that I can move to someone else but like I said I have six bags here to work with and I'm hoping to have them all full by the time Christmas in July comes and that way I'll be able to uh, ship these off for whoever is going to receive them and then hopefully they'll have some goodies in here that they can play or incorporate into their projects if they're doing Christmas in July. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone is having a great day and God bless. Bye.